In this video, I'm going to break my fast by reviewing Aldi's plant menu, No Chicken Bake. Hi, and welcome to another Break of Fast Food Review. My name's Jesse, and I'm the Fast and Sparky. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Oldies Plant Menu No Chicken Bake. Right, I'm new, apparently. I'm new. So new that it's not even on the website at the time of filming. I didn't actually buy this. The lady in my life bought this for me. Um, she lives near a Toldy's and a Tazda's. Um, and she bought this a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I went on the website to see how much it cost and download all the information on the back. And it's not there. So what is going on? I don't know. She tells me that sometimes if they can't get product in stock, they just take it off the shelf. Um, and obviously off the menu. So I'm new. It might have sold like hotcakes. And they, I don't know. If anyone knows what's going on with it, I mean, it might be back on the shelves by the time this video goes out, but... As I say, at the time of filming, it's not there. So if anyone knows what's going on, please get in the comments, let me know. Okay, let's have a look at the protein source and the nutritional information. Now, it says on the back here, seasoned soya protein in a plant-based vegetable sauce wrapped in puff pastry. Um... So it sounds like it's soya protein, I'm sure. Hang on, water, soya, soya protein, wheat, gluten, pea protein, potato protein. <laughs> Blimey, there's every protein in this, but no meat protein, hopefully. <laughs> right, okay. So yeah, we've got... Um, the allergens in bold are wheat, soya, oat, flour, uh, oat is in bold, and that is it. Now the calories, how many calories are in this? We'll have a look at the traffic lights in a minute. So the calories are... 300 and 311 calories per 100 grams now there's 132 grams in each bake there's two bakes in here which adds up to 411 calories per bake that seemed a bit oi to me anyway traffic light traffic light system let's have a look at this now we've got two reds a green and an amber um, the red is fat 23 point this is per bake 23.9 grams saturates 10.6 grams sugars which is a green are three grams and the salt is an amber 1.34 grams Okay, right. Well, as I can't find it on the uh, website, I can't download that information. So what I'll do, I'll take a picture of this and I'll put it up on the screen somewhere. Possibly there, could be down below, depending on what size it is and where it looks best on the screen. But yeah. It will go up on the screen for anybody who's interested in that to give it a pause and take a closer look. Now, the price point. She tells me 
one pound nineteen. They they cost her one pound nineteen, which is fifty nine and a half pence each per bake. Which from Aldi, as usual, great value. But again, it all comes down to what does it taste like. If it does, if it's if it's not edible, then you wasted your money, ain't you? So it's all in the taste. I haven't eaten since last night, so I think it's time to fire up the oven and get some food on the plate. Okay, here's my meal for today. So what we got is the no chicken bake. I've got some uh, boiled and then fried in coconut oil in a wok new potatoes with cheddar cheese on, mature cheddar cheese. And also I fried some onion up. Oh, I love onion. Woohoo! And bung some cheese on top of them as well. Lovely jubbly. Right, here we go. So there's the old bake. That's oozed a bit of... Ooh, blimey. Is that actually focusing in on that? That's a first. I don't know if it did. Anyway, let's have a go on it. Right, here we go. I've not had one of these before, by the way. What's it gonna be like? Let's break me fast and find out. Mmm. Yeah, that's quite tasty. Oh, that's definitely worth £1.19 for two of them. Blimey. Yeah, that's well worth 60 pence. Mmm. We nearly had the tripod over then. Just calm down, you. Hey, right, boo-boo, do the bizzo. Give it a nudge. Go on, give it a nudge. <sighs> More training needed. Right, let's have a onion or two. Mmm. Quarter hair night. Oh, I love onion. Mmm. -hmm. About one of these. Oh. God, blimey. Mmm. Quite a nice. But let's, you know, let's get back on the old bait because this is what the review's about. I'll leave that bit actually. I'll have a try of that. Mmm. It's really good. Pastry is lovely. Really nice. Couldn't have, couldn't have done it better. Sauce is nice. Lots of flavour. Let's see what this meat free chicken piece is, is like. Not a lot of flavour to be fair. All I could taste was the sauce on it. Mm. 
Mm, the text is a little bit softer than the other chicken, meat-free chicken uh, products I've reviewed. It's a little bit softer. Can't, there's not really a lot of taste to it. But as a whole, I mean, I'm reviewing the whole thing, not the chicken pieces inside it. It is a really good product. Boo boo at the sink. Mm, that is good. Mm. That is very nice, that. A lot of calories, though, isn't it? For what it is. What was that? 131 or 2 grams for 411 calories. That seemed quite high to me for savoury. Okay. Let's wrap this up and give it a score. Well, as as usual, if you've seen any of my other reviews, I always work from an eight. Is it tasty? Would I buy it again? If the answer to, that, to both of them is yes, then it's an eight or above. Uh, there's loads of value for money in this. Uh, it's, it is quite tasty. Let's just have another go on it before I come up with a score. Mm. It has got lots of flavour. That sauce has got a lot of flavour. Right, okay. Um, right, let me think what I've given other scores, other products, what scores I've given them. Um, yeah, this is getting towards a nine, I'd say, for the for the value for money. I'm gonna give this an eight point eight. Yeah, eight point eight. That's a nice product. Definitely buy that again for that price. I'd I'd pay if if someone like Morrison's Tesco Sainsbury's was selling that like a standard range, and they were charging. Two pound fifty for for a box of them. I'd buy them. I'd buy them for that. I wouldn't complain if I bought them, ate them, and thought, "Oh, they aren't worth two pound fifty. I might not buy them. I wouldn't buy them as often as I'd I'd buy them from Aldi's for one pound nineteen. But yeah, I, you know, if I bought them for two pound fifty, took them home, cooked them up, and ate them, I wouldn't complain. That's worth an 8, 8.8 8 all day long. Okay, right. Now, later on tonight, in about two, two and a half hours time, I'm going to be doing a something sweet review. And tonight, ho -ho, I am going to be reviewing. Oh, look at his eyes going round. This little beauty. Wow. Now, I have had these before. I have had these. I've had them, I don't know, two or three times before. In the last probably six months. And that is good. That is very good. I know this has got to get a high score. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into that later tonight yeah lovely old jubbly so if you want to catch that one that will be following this video day later um, so yeah look out for that that guys is another fast broken buy a food review thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me again soon on the next one
Take care. I'm now going to finish this because this is well worth the money and very, very tasty. Oh, lovely old jubbly. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. There we go. There you are, Bobo. You're not having any more, Bobo. Blimey. You get enough out of them out of me. Come on, Bobo. Hurry up, my man. He's taking forever, isn't he, Bobo? Bobo, get down, please. God, hey, get down. Blimey, hurry up, Bubbles. You sound like flipping jaws over there, Bo. Out of the sink, Bubble. Hurry up, Bob. Finished? Right, here we go. Bubble, what, what are you doing in there? He's a nightmare. Bobo! Right, hang on, let me sort him out. 